Welcome back for another episode of Small Land, everyone. And today we're going to go see Lysandra, talk to her, see what she has to offer, and go, well, deal with the spider she wants us to kill. So, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a little bit of a cough going. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to let our stamina come up. And jump off our tree. Oh, and careful, you hit... <laughs> something like that it doesn't go well. And if you go this route, you can pretty much glide the whole way, avoiding the wolf spiders. Which is kind of a good thing. <laughs> You're aiming for that big tree. Can't miss it. There's the entrance on the back side here, which is what we're going for. See what I mean? This is so easy with the glider. There's our little entrance here. There are still spiders in here, so be careful. And we made it. Huge humanoid creatures used to roam the overland. Long ago, they're known to the small folk as giants. Nobody knows the reason why they disappeared. But since their time has ended, the small folk have cautiously started coming out of their burrows to explore the overland. So basically, the human apocalypse happened. And, uh, yeah, we're here. And uh, there's some of those silly little uh, jumping spiders. And there's tons of silk in here. But see how much easier it is to get here by flying? So you need some silk, boom, right here in this rib cage. So here she is, and yes, she has a baby spider in her arms. I was sent here by Skeed. Ah, the rhino beetle on the beach, you say. Tell me more. Very interesting. I've been preoccupied with a similar issue that's possibly related. The other night I saw something lurking around in the swamps that I thought... I couldn't make out what it was. Shortly after, a giant albino spider emerged from between the western walls of the swamp to make its nest in the cave somewhere up here. The creature has become more radic and hostile lately. Due to great strength, I fear it might upset the natural order of the swamps. If you could eliminate the spider and bring me one of its eyes for examination, I could say it maybe be able to uncover the reason for the spider's sudden change of behavior. It's a dangerous task, but I believe in your skill and bravery, Vanguard. Alright. Also, she can make us an armor. I believe. Yep, and it is the Silk Weave set. And uh, yeah, it doesn't really have too much of an upgrade on um, that kind of stuff, but it makes you very fast and stealthy, which is cool. So, there you go, Silk Weave set. All right, so now we need to go deal with Mr. Albino Spider. So we can, oops, hello, nope, go away, unhighlight, unhighlight, nope, I guess we're too close. So to get to the albino spider, I feel the easiest way is just to head back out the way we came in. Ugh, there we go. And then kind of glide on along this way. Oh, nope, didn't make it. We'll just climb up this. And, uh, yeah. This spider wasn't too bad with two people, but I'm a little worried as one person. I I'm not too sure how it's gonna go for me. We'll, we'll just have to see. Are we on its cave already? No. Okay. Yeah, it's actually, like, in a cave. I was making sure we weren't on top of its tunnel. I think that's it, actually. Way up ahead there. Yep. That should be the entrance down here. Oh, boy. All right. Full food. Get a bandage going. 
and try to get a sneak beginning arrow on it. Oh, that did like nothing. All right, in we go. Oh. Oh, this would be a really nice time to have that stamina glitch still. Too bad. Just stamina, man. What are you up to? Got it. Yeah, we got it. All right. Uh, where's that eyeball? Eyeball? Oh, there it is. Woo! I was about to say we didn't get the albino spider eyeball. That would have been severely disappointing. There we go. We've got it. So now we just have to bring it back to her and uh, see what she puts in store for us next. So, up we go here. And I uh, think what you can do, I didn't bring my shears and I'm regretting it. All the silk around here. I have to come back for it a different time. Yeah, you should be able to climb up this and get a little bit of air. Oh, no, not that much. <laughs> Never mind that. Seems a little too quiet around here. Man, that spider's venom is sticking around. Oh. that oops didn't mean to take damage there this why I need more Poison on top of it. These healing bandages are like the best thing in the world. That's all I have to say. And we're back. All right. Is that baby spider in your arms? Her name is Singwen. <laughs> she could paralyze a grown small folk. Nice. Oh, we learned the poison antidote by asking by it. Okay, nice. See, I forgot about that. All right. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Well. Eyes cloudy and bloodshot suggesting the spider's been poisoned. Don't know of any poisons that could affect a creature as such. My old friend Tohula. Or Tuhala? Tohala? 
Tula? I don't know. Anyways, I know Nook has also been having troubles lately with the Black Hornet. All right. And Wolf Spider Treat has been learned. So now we can actually tame a Wolf Spider. So that's what we're going to actually do. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, what are you looking at, Fuzzy? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. You wiggle that ass away. That's what I thought. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, wait, why is this a campfire, not an actual cauldron when it's a cauldron? Huh. Okay, well, we're going to find a place outside to place a cauldron ourselves, and we're going to make a wolf spider treat, and then we'll go tame one, and, uh, yeah, bring you guys back. Alright, guys, the wolf spider treat is not uh, too cheap. It actually is going to be a grasshopper leg, two spider eyes, three insect wings, one petal, and two seed oil. So we're going to go have to go back to the tree and grab all that stuff together, and then we'll come back to tame ourselves a wolf spider. All right, we've got the treats, and usually there's some spiders down here, but I guess they're still dead from earlier. So we're gonna, ooh, slide down here, apparently. And uh, just wander until, oh, there's one. All right, perfect. Here, buddy. Oh, that is not. A buddy. That is a black widow, and they are not table. And oh man, oh. Ooh. Uh, by the way, black widows drop silk themselves. <laughs> nice tip. Okay, okay. Ugh. I hear the frog down there, so that's not the way we want to go. Uh, we can go this way. Should be spiders this way. Yep, okay. That looks like a wolf spider. Yes, okay. We're out of bandages. Oh. F, F, F. Whew. Okay. So there we go. We're slowly being poisoned by it. And uh, as you can see, the spider, it, you know, you can run. Don't get in water with it. <laughs> Just like all the other mounts. Uh, left click is going to be attack. And uh, that's about it. The attack does poison. Uh, you can poison your friends with it, even if they're on friendly fire. Uh, the pathing on them is not very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy wow well that was a uh, very very short-lived um as you can see i probably should have let him heal up but uh i'm sure there's another one right around the corner here we can probably grab yep i did bring a second treat just in case come on you come back around the corner there it is And there we go. So, Wolf Spider. Here it is. And uh, you'll see it's pretty fast. I mean, but it doesn't really climb terrain like the spiders seem to be able to when they can. See, it does a lot of, like, getting stuck, kind of. That's not too bad, I would say. Ooh, there it goes can do uh, falls from decent height. I don't know if it takes actual fall damage. I know the grasshopper you can jump off the tree, but I haven't tried that with a spider yet. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure how well that would go. But uh, yeah, I mean, here we go. Wolf spider, tame. Definitely one of the uh, more useful tames, I would say. Oh. We definitely won't win against the Black Widow, so I'm just gonna have to fight it. Uh, oh, don't get hurt. Oh. All right, anything from that spider you will, you'll eat to heal yourself there, buddy? Yeah, there you go. Eat up. Oh, cool, he's eating the Black Widow's eyes. 
Well, spiders eat spiders a lot. Uh, that's that's a thing too. So I mean, hey, uh, do I really have no other bandages? I do not. That is really bad for my health right now. Uh, well, uh, that's pretty much gonna do it, everyone. So sound off down in the comment section below. I always love hearing back from you. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time for well, uh, I guess we'll be heading to Nock to take care of that. Uh, Wasp, maybe? I, I don't know. We'll see. Because if we go over to uh, the witch, she gives us the final boss. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to kind of go by uh, how we go with that. But thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the series. See you next time.